Oh, baby, we are back. We are back with Resident Evil Village. We might actually be finishing it tonight. I kicked this game off for the first playthrough on Hardcore like a madman. I couldn't help myself. And it has been a journey. Holy hell. This game is far more difficult than, and than the others. In my personal opinion, those lichens don't mess around. But it is, it's been awesome. An awesome journey. And, and well fought as well. Every victory, every fight just feels that much better so far the story has been an absolute roller coaster i love how they've split up the village I, I love all the characters so far we'll see if this ending can hold up can they keep that momentum going and give us a worthy ending that so many games fail to do i'm excited to find out let's get back in there so we've now just met up with we've killed all four lords and we've met up with chris once again he's given us a hell a hell of a revelation all got to do with Ethan, his wife Mia, and his daughter Rose. But he's still leaving something out. So yeah, we're down here in the factory, which is, uh, in my personal opinion, one of the coolest areas in the whole game. Completely unexpected. I just thought we'd just do a little run through. It turned into a labyrinth. An awesome, awesome labyrinth. And I can't say nothing but good things about it. Uh, I've enjoyed it so much. Hell yeah. My Deluxe already almost dead. Oh, no. Um, I've been trying to save up all the... Is it the Primo gems to, for the wishes and that? That's what I've been trying to do. But I want Deluxe. I, 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 I still have Amber because she's my only bow and arrow character. I'm still early, you know. But she's still cool. I like her. Um, and she's a Pyro as well. I, I'm, I like Pyro characters. Yeah, it's a cool game. I'm still in Monstatra. I'm only starting off. Yeah, the Hound Wolf Squad. I love that. All right, let's just check what we're dealing with here. Okay, I think I, I have still a lot of stuff. Yeah, I, I'm 12 in this awesome Wolf's Bane, which is uh, the Magnum for the game, or one of the Magnums. But it's so cool. It's it's very old school, you know. You think you actually was used to take down some 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 wolves, you know. So we have 12 in that. Now, like most games, when Magnum Ammo... Um, you just get what you get. You can't craft anymore. We also have a nice bit in our sniper. We've got a little bit in the grenade launcher. So we're doing okay. Yeah, we're doing all right. I'm happy enough with that. Come. Cool. Because things are going to pop off here in a second. Uh, it doesn't look like we can get back out of here. So that's all good. I know a lot of people have been loving this. The Village of Shadows difficulty and speed runs and everything. I think we're going to be riding on this machine. This is where I left off. Nasty little cliffhanger. I couldn't help myself. So he somehow strapped this with like a javelin rocket launcher there. And then a, a giant chainsaw on this side. Chris has been busy. Actually, I believe um it was Heisenberg who made this and just left it around. You can see it was made out of almost half a motorbike and then a bulldozer. It's fucking wild. Heisenberg's monster is just awesome to look at. Right? Body horror doesn't do it for me, but when metal is involved, yeah, I, yeah, right? I think they did a great job with uh, Propeller Head. I know they're in a little bit of hot water over um, uh, plagiarism. We'll see about that. I mean, I think everybody borrows from everybody. It doesn't excuse what they did, you know, at the end of the day. It's always nice to let the dude know. But apparently, this is not the first time he's gone in a plagiarism rant. Apparently, he's done it to numerous things. So, we'll see where it goes. Yeah. Explore didn't lag when use added files and info. Yeah, there you go. You see, yeah, I've been I've been enjoying this place so much. Co-op in Genshin is chaotic mostly when I end up playing. Oh, don't you worry. All right, here we go. I don't know if I'll be shooting off this thing. How's it gonna go? We're gonna get like a turret section. We've already seen Heisenberg has evolved and has transformed into some nasty thing. Metal polymer composite, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. I don't know why he transformed so quick. We didn't even get to fight him yet. He's an interesting character. I like his design. I'm not too gone on his voice acting though. Oh yeah, we are. Look at this. Ready cannon. Holy shit. Fire cannon. Guard. That's guard. Okay. Machine gun. This is a fucking insane. Oh my god. Wow. This is cool. I think we play this whole game like this. Alright, here we go boys. Ah! <laughs> no way! Shoot down a salt that hanging from the production line. Nice! Alright. <laughs> I was just messing around trying to fire at one of them. There you go. Stole that. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. We won't have this for the rest of the game. We'll have it 
for a little bit, I'd say. Come on, this elevator. Ooh. Blast the gate open. Boom! Is it thunder and lightning? Ooh. Holy fuck! There he is. Mano a mano. Damn, it takes a long time for that to reload. Come on, motherfucker. Nice. Whoa, Dougie. Oh, here comes the telekinesis. Try and stay with him. Yes. Come on, bitch. Boom. Remember, this is on hardcore now, so it's tough. Is there no way of using the chainsaw? Oh, he's not. Boom! Did he dodge that? Oh! One more, baby. Let's go! Damn, that arm does not. There it is! Let me turn down just a wee bit. This is low. Alright. Fuck, how did he how did he stop that? Miranda. Ow! I thought I destroyed them all. That sucks. Give me a little box. Oh shit! Now what happens? Yeah, missed. God, it's like a fucking nuke going off. Come on, bitch. Damn, he just gets all his stuff back. Boom! Is he dead? No. Where's he going? Get back here, you little shit. What the fuck? Oh my god. Jesus! Boom! Put me down, you son of a bitch! Oh my god! Not your jubbly bits. I think we got him. Alright, no worries, thank you. Fuck. What's on now? Go, 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 man, go. Where is he? Why am I running so slow? He's so slow. You're so slow, Ethan. How do we finish this? Yes! Die, please! Fucking die! He's still alive. This dude! What's he gonna do now? 
Oh god. Oh god! Holy shit! This dude has like fucking telekinesis. Oh no. Oh no no no. This is a fucking metal tornado. Oh no way! No way dude! This is it. One last shot. Yes! Holy fuck! Time to die, Heisenberg! Nice, that was fucking epic! So yeah, that fight came Iron Giant down, I love it. That fight came pretty fast after um, Propeller Head, so that was pretty cool of them. Alright, here we go, Alpha. It, I bet you, is it Chris? I heard explosions. It is Chris. I dealt with Heisenberg. Now I'm gonna find Miranda. Interesting boss fight for sure. I like when they do that. <gasps> Rose! Oh shit! Our child. We know it's not Mia. She's Look at that thing in the background! She? She's everything to me. <laughs> Cheers! And mine to me. GG. With Heisenberg gone, you've lost your lead. Fuck you, you what creepy bitch. I'm saving Rose. Shoot her! You'd never know, do you? Even when I took Mia's place in your home. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Poor Ethan. Who are you? Where's Rose? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> the sixth winged thing. Ooh, that's what she actually Enough. looks like. Mother Miranda. Remember Evelyn and her power over the mall? Yes. Rose is her successor. No. Rose is Evelyn's true, complete form. What? She will grow to fully control the masses. And I must have her. Fuck you, you crazy bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, you crazy bitch! Calm yourself. Rose will be safe. There's, that's that mold again. The Mega My Seat catalogs all of us. How Creepy. She will be reborn as my daughter. She's my child, not yours. The Mega Machine. Where are you? Show yourself. Why did Rose come to be? No. Was it because of her parents. And you. Are Was she the old lady all along? That bitch. But I've learned all I can from you. Your worth as a lab rat has run out. Behind you, dumbass. Miranda, you coward. Come on and face me! Oh. Dude. Don't worry. Your death will come quick. You will join the Mega My Seeds records. Is that his heart? I will make sure to sample your blood for later. Once dawn breaks, the ceremony will be complete, and I will become her true mother. Bound for eternity, blood. <laughs> what the fuck? I like that they're bringing it back to, to Resident Evil 7. I've waited so long. But dreams really can come true. Did she really just say that? Vessel or not, I can't wait to see my true child. Who is Mother Miranda? Who is she? I wanna know. How the fuck is she able to do this stuff? Shape shifting. Fucking wings. We know that she's given all the others the powers. I've confirmed the death of Ethan Winters. Oh fuck, is he dead dead? Ethan! Share your screen. And I'll go over the situation. Ooh, share your screen. My team and I were careless. Discord. Yesterday. Share your screen on Discord, okay? But we didn't kill her. Who knew she could fake being a corpse? <laughs> Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him and Rose with us. But the vehicle 
they were riding in was attacked. When I got to the wreck, Ethan and Rose were gone. The last time I was able to contact Ethan, I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him. And she is not gonna get away with it. He's been through so much, like every limb and everything. There's no way he's dead dead. God damn it, when does it end? What's that, sir? The mission? All of it. Three years trying to put this thing in the ground. Three years too long. He's aged about 20 years. What now? Go get her, Captain. The squad's ready for you. Nice. Oh shit. He's fucking ready. Are we gonna take control of Chris now? So BSAA got here already. They didn't waste any time. Mission adjustment? No. So he's not with the BSA anymore. Terminate Miranda and rescue Rose. Not the six. That's the mission. Failure's not an option. Let's have some fun, people. Like old times. Move out. Roger. Yeah, okay. Jesus is getting all Call of Duty in here. K9, I want to know what the hell BSAA is doing here. Find out what you can. Roger that. I'm on it. Roger, Roger. All that stuff I had saved up with Ethan. Oh, no me. way. Captain. When was it last? The desert? Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard she turn herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at, either. Spooky. Nice. These laser sights? No. Might have to fight some of the BSAA as well. Cool. We got to play a little bit as Chris in 7 uh, with the Not A Hero DLC. Target locator. Cool. For airstrike. Oh. Okay. Hang grenades. Med injector, yeah, we saw them before. Alright, interesting. I still hope Ethan comes back. We gotta settle this. Holy shit. Fucking hell. It's like the end of seven. It's completely transformed. Oh, you dumb bastards. At this point, the BSA might as well be as bad as Umbrella. So I think once you upgrade weapons completely, you get infinite ammo. I'd like to do a run through with it, something with infinite ammo. That'd be cool. Everyone, watch for hostile bio weapons. Roger. Look at that thing. Yeah, by the end, Evelyn had taken over and destroyed the whole Baker family house. She's a huge monstrosity of a thing. No doubt. Whoa! Oh my god, the recoil on this. Jeez! What is this gun? My god, this is badass. Dragoon, holy fuck, this thing is lethal. This, I'm on hardcore, like. Oh my god, it's Headshot City. They're not dropping anything, bastards. That's a, that's a pure sign that this is very much like moving into the ending. I hope we get the fight. Mother Miranda. What's funny is that her name, like the Miranda part. Not a whole lot to it. Alright, let's go, boys. BSAA craft spotted. Hell yeah. <laughs> I can take it. Don't get caught. Well, let's... Grenades are over there. What does this do exactly? Unable to use. Well, no. What's this thing? Holy shit. USM AI. Okay. Mid sized semi automatic gun. I was hoping the Albert would come back. I have to fight the whole way through the village. I love it! So, you know, they've been using, like, for seven, the they, they, they fit it in with Biohazard. That's probably where Miranda is. Let's go. And then with eight, they fit. Eight Greek numerals into into village. So I was thinking for nine they'd have to do like I X, you know, for Greek numerals of I. There's not a whole lot of words with that in it. 
The one I was thinking was was crucifix. Oh my god! That's a huge bitch. No, no, no. I can't reload. These fuckers die. Hello, boy. Oh, shit. I didn't think they were gonna die. Those are the big werewolves. Holy moly. Moly, moly, moly. Gotta be more careful. Hey, boss, it's me. I'm at the location preparing for support fire. Might be a minute. Roger. Tundra here. Leaving more some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. Damn. Help yourself. Thank you. Oh man, this house. Fuck this house. The jump scare. Alright, onwards we go. I think we got a health injector. Lovely. So many grenades. Let's use them. You going through here? No way! This is straight up Call of Duty. Checking there's nothing behind me. There's one out here though. Umberize, I need some backup. I see you. Two hundred to the point. God damn, this gun is amazing. Oh, I, I have to check. Are we still on fucking hardcore? Come on. A little bit long on the reload though. God, it just it trivializes the whole thing. Hey, I get eyes on the bus. God is enough of these fuckers. Ah, uh, that was nice. That second grenade was tasty. Let's go, Chris. Damn, you kill like six of them and more keep coming. Fine by me. Thirty in a mag is just enough to cause trouble. Nothing but headshots. All right. If my mom saw this shit, she thinks she died and gone to hell. For real. I've reached the target location. Damn, this is big. Got to blow this fucker up. Marking the target. Nice. Let's go. Damn, it's a long time for a laser sight. I do it. Reloading now. Just a minute. The Lobo, huh? Oh this my god. No, 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 no. Shit. What am I stuck on? Oh, they fucking blocked me in, of course. Fuck. Ah! 
God damn! There's just no time to reload. I have to get the fuck out of here. Come on, you shits, let me reload. Don't tell me that. Fuck! It takes so long to reload. Come on, dude. Dude, it's a little bit hard when there's so many in the spawn. Alright, let's try to get up here. This little motherfucker. A clever, it takes that long to uh, hold down. It's enough for them to really charge it. Come on. All right, we can chill. We can chill up here. I'm reloaded. Where should I point next? Who hit me? Point it up, yes. There's those item boxes, we wish we had them. And it's gone full like military at the end here. No target yet. Shit, they're already up here. The locators busted. This guy needs to cram it up his ass. I'm taking on hundreds of lichens. You just keep respawning them. Maybe I should just... Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. Maybe I'm supposed to leave one alive. You fucking reload! I think I can hear one right behind me. Just gonna have to dodge this motherfucker. And they all just disappear. That's my luck. I'll take care of the rest of them. You useless sack of shit. Where the hell is the rest of the team? We came in here with fucking five guys. Now we're leaving with Whataburger. Jesus Christ, that's a hell of a crater. That's barely hurt her though. She's just retreated a little bit. I found a way down. I'm going in. The rest of you Holy. stay back. Captain. I compared the mold of the village with a sample from the bakers, and uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E series. The stuff originated here. Ooh. The stuff originated. This is where the the E virus was birthed, I think, because we know that she was sent across on a ship. Remember? That was a big old tanker, you know. It wasn't like a tiny little. Wasn't a ship just to cross. You know, go from fucking, go from uh, the you know South America to North America. This thing was meant for giant voyages, so I think it came straight from here. What the fuck? Is that one of the werewolves? What the f oh shit! Guarding the mega huh? What the hell? Look at that weapon he's got. Oh 
Oh no, I wasted all my shit. Alright. Wasted all my grenades on him, but anyway. Come on. Is he firing this out of a, a helicopter or something? Come on, dude. Oh, that timing though. Why did it? Why did it randomly go uh, night vision? Just so I can see the laser. Probably. I think you can charge it up, but it's where he hits last. Come on, how long does it take to reload? Let's try and kite him around a little bit. This is cool, yeah. Probably three times. You know how it is. Hold your horses. I'm reloading. I didn't say anything. These kind of fights that take necessary time, they must hurt in the when people are trying to get under three hours. Oh, he just shoves it into your face. Wham. That's right, roar all you want, you're fucking dead. Come on, it's gotta be it. What? He's still alive? Nice. Cool. I felt like those the few shots I put into him there finished them off. Can we not climb up here? I know, waiting for this to disappear. Dude, Chris is a fucking badass. Yeah, it was once, but so geez. Was the fake Mia, where's the real one? Good. I yeah. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. No, it's something else. Whoa! It. It's the it, seat. Yeah, this is the heart. That's what it looked like. A, it looks like a fetus. That's what that symbol is all along. They've been worshipping this thing. Kind of reminds me of the the last plague. The plant starts it all. Alpha the squad. I've located the Megamycete. So now we can end this mess after all. About damn time. <sighs> nice. You attached it to Head a knife. Explosives armed. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Roger that. Standing by. Roger, Roger. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. Can we shoot it from here? I know it's too late now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. Well, no shit. Was time. We didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Yeah, me neither. Even so, you should have told him. I feel like I was yeah. cheated out of a boss fight. But maybe it's so he will take over. Look at this thing. Nasty. Look at all this stuff. It's dripping down. That's the same fungus that Dr. Moreau was messing with. It all leads back. Yeah, there's clearly a connection between Evelyn and Miranda. Maybe Mother Miranda was the first. Somehow she was able to... She has control of that Mega... She knows a lot more, you know? Almost like a scientist. This must be Miranda's lab. Yeah. Definitely. There we go. We're finally going to get some answers, boys. Oh, this is uh, the moon. The, two, the moon and the sun. That was the doll. That was Angie. Uh, just, just... Can I not open it? There we go. I want to... Subject name Donna. Okay, so we believe. Yeah, Donna. 
Oh yeah, kept getting that confused. She's no different than a regular human. However, she can secrete a signal producing substance which controls plants infected by the mu- Oh wow, Jesus. When humans absorb the pollen from a particular flower, she can cause them to have hallucinations. Okay, so we saw that. Interesting. However, she's mentally underdeveloped and has divided her kado amongst her dolls. So this kado they're talking about, whatever that is, I don't even know what the fuck that is. It's like a slug or something. It might even be that giant, weird fetus heart thing. That This is the root of everything. Oh, that's so cool. Each one of their books are related to them. You know, look at this one's all metal and cogs and that. Fuck yeah. Hope I don't wet my deep... Oh, you better not. Carl Heisenberg. Electric organs similar to the electric ray. Wow. These electric organs are connected to the subject's nervous system. And therefore pass control electricity throughout the entire body. Allowing control of magnetic fields. So it's probably him causing that lightning storm. Splendid specimen. But still an unfit vessel for Eva. Who the fuck is Eva? Maybe that's what she's calling Rose. Probably. Uh, this one is Dimitrescu, right? Yeah, I believe it is. They were cool alone. I actually thought like Lady Dimitrescu was going to be the whole game over, so I was pleasantly surprised to figure out there was so much more. I would have done more with that castle, though. That's just me. There we go. I'll see now. That's her real name. Regeneration rate is incredibly fast. Yeah, that's why we. It, she felt like she was immortal. So you can heal any external wound within seconds. Damn. Hereditary blood disease. The subject must ingest human flesh and blood on a regular basis so that's what the it was not vampiric exactly you know it was a, a blood disease apparently i suspect that if the subject's regeneration is not properly balanced and she may mutate uncontrollably we saw that very well so she's been looking for these vessels but she didn't look like she found one maybe it would eat them and this is obviously Dr. Moreau with all the slime on it and that. Oh, wow, that's so cool, the tentacles. I'd say of any of the places, any of the areas, if there was a little bit of shortcoming, I'd say it was probably his. The windmills and the swamps were super cool, but I felt like it could have done with a couple of more areas, you know. I would have went closer to something like the Forgotten Forest in Bloodborne. Just give us that kind of an area, you know. But it was still very cool, and it was a cool puzzle. It was a good fight. It's awesome. Yeah, this this is yeah messed up. Poor bastard, he was just completely worthless. You know, he even he had no self worth either. You know, he was just trying to please them. Did I miss one? No, that's the four lords. This is her sacred little lab, huh? This is one of these cadeaux. I don't know what the fuck it is. It's like a baby version of that thing outside. What the so hell is? Using it? this to control the bioweapons. What the fuck is it? You can't have Resident Evil or a Capcom game without them just sliding into nonsensical words. But most of them are real. It's just like the average person's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, see? Some weird fucking fetus of something. Oh, wow. There she is when she was normal. Who's the baby? She's almost beautiful. It was Evelyn. It was Evelyn. So that's why, that's where, that's what the Eva thing is. She's probably trying to bring back Evelyn. That's the connection. She literally... Yeah, that's her. So I, I was right. They brought her across the fucking water in the boat. From mainland Europe to America. Well, well, well. That's a beautiful connection. That's super cool. Holy shit. They rarely pull that kind of stuff off. The question is... Is there more than meets the eye? Dear Miranda... My deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would love nothing more than to visit your quaint village once more. I, however, I am kind of busy. And again, I suppose for an immortal woman such as yourself, or immortal, excuse me, same thing, <laughs> you no longer remember this poor half-dead medical student in the snow. I've always cherished the revelations I came to 15 years ago when I stayed in your village. I was inspired by your research to think one could transform a human by infecting them with an organism. Positively visionary. I knew with the knowledge I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution. Even after two world wars and humanity on the cusp of another, my conviction never wavered. I realized, however, through many nights of intellectual talks you and I shared, that your conviction differed from mine. You hoped to bring back a single dead person, 
while I aimed to change the world. Experiments in the mold would not have aided me in the endeavor to achieve an exponential infection. I thought a virus would be more... Oh my god! Oh my, is this who I think it is? Elaine, hello! Happy Monday! I hope you had the best weekend. I think I know who this is. I think I... This is like the original virus. This is... Could it be? Could it be him? The mansion? Are we going back? Wow. This is why, my dear, I have to leave you. I still regret never telling you goodbye. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Oswald E. Spencer. Wow. Wow. That is a nod all the way back to the original T Vi. Wow. That is straight up Resident Evil 1. That's impressive. The Spencer Mansion. We know how all that went down and the, the fights between the scientists. Jeez. My apologies for reminiscing. I actually have news that thought might please you. I have found the key to evolution. Progenitor, a virus found in Africa. Also a nod to Resident Evil 5. Wow, Capcom. Wow, look at you fucking pointing everything back to the old games. Wow, I never thought they'd be able to do it. That's nice. I plan to start a company with friends. I'm sure you do. I will call it Umbrella, you fucking idiot. Just like the symbol in the cave that we spoke about. You see, I told you that the, the nods to the four founding families... I, mean, I thought they were the ones that founded Umbrella, but I think that may be something else. I'm one step closer to making my vision a reality. I hope you'll be able to achieve your goals someday. This is so cool. Hope you did too. And oh, the game looks so awesome. Yeah, I'm. I think I'm right at the end. Everything's all crazy. So if you don't want spoilers, now is the time. Spencer, D here. No way. Yeah. That's so cool. What a, what an awesome idea. I don't think that means they're gonna like remake the first game or anything. It's just them going. This is all a shared universe. Because everybody was worried about, you know, when seven, how Seven just, you know, really did go off the deep beaten path. Alright, we read that one. That's so cool. So they're all part of the team. I still want to know what this giant Kado thing is, you know. It's clear. Unless I'm missing something. But I don't, you know, if we're talking like sea slugs or something. No, it's something else. This is like, they've created themselves. This is like a fetus or something. Like, what the fuck is that? Like, honestly. Maybe, maybe it's something. It sounds kind of familiar. I didn't do any research around it just in case I didn't want to fall down the trap of um, accidentally spoiling myself. Because it can happen when you do a little bit of research. Or if you look up someone's name in a game and then Google will finish it with the death of somebody. And you're like, what? And you just, yeah, so you just got to be careful. I tend to just kind of, if you're playing a game, it's best just to do the homework afterwards. <laughs> but yeah. No, it's definitely, it's definitely something they created. It kind of looks like a little dragon. It looks very lizard-like. Which would make sense, because we are talking about, like, replication and, and all that. Fucking nasty. Tail. Disgusting. Disgusting. Yeah, you're playing some, some Genshin. I love that. I'm enjoying my time with it. I'm so glad. I kind of put two and two together with Evelyn. I'm glad they brought that back, because I think that was a really great idea. So, yeah, if they do a nine, that's what I was thinking. Maybe call a crucifix and go down some, like, kind of... Creepy religious story. Antichrist. But who knows? Maybe that's too much. Guys, crazy. These exact photos were in Seven, you know? It's wild. My Eva. So that's what she calls her. Her name being Evelyn makes complete sense. 100 years since I lost you to the Spanish flu. Wow! Are they really that old? Like, fair enough, Spencer talking about World War Two and that. We get that, because all the shit that went down there was, you know, in the 60s and 70s and that. Um, but holy shit, the Spencer mentioned that. But oh my god, are we talking like really a hundred years ago? Bring you back to life from the Mega Messiah. That's what you found. This crazy thing. I have to test your new vessel of gender abilities. I took her apart and revived her in the Mega Messiah regulator, the giant chalice. So we know that's you took her back apart robes, which is fucked up. All that's left is to merge her with the Mega Messiah. The ceremony can find me. So that's what it is all about this merging together. So I lost you. I was so stricken with grief. They wandered into a cave to die. I so wanted to be with you again. That's when I found it, the Mega Messiah, completely by accident. I'm sure you did. But that me like, what's going on with Miranda then? How is she immortal as well? I touched the black substance. My mind was overcome with knowledge. The Mega Messiah breaks down and absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished. I knew that the consciousness was in there too. And there would be no a way to bring it back. I just needed the right vessel. I returned to the village. I implanted the villagers with mold from the Mega Messiah. That's the way I controlled them. Experimenting them. Okay. I experimented on hundreds of people. 
to use this inventory to increase the efficiency of finding a vessel by creating a parasite I called Kado. Yet none of my experiments came to fruition. There was some, like Alcina, who would close to be imperfect but turned all into lichens. I was once approached by an organization who said they would assist me. I gave them some of the mold in your DNA. But all they created was another defect, Evelyn. Ah! But again, not a complete failure. I learned of Rose thanks to them. I knew she would be the perfect vessel. There was some interference. But they're still not, um, there's still something missing. There's still something missing. And that is Ethan. What the fuck is Ethan? Oh, look, there's Mia. She was on that team. There's Alan. All dead. Everyone in this picture pretty much dead, I'd say. There's a creepy bitch in the middle. Evelyn. Yeah, Mar Mother Miranda, she looking all right, you know? You wouldn't kick her out of bed. She's got that, uh, that kind of Eastern European model look. The resting bitch face. But yeah, Ethan is still... But look at that. Holy shit. To me, and there's that. She took an x ray of Dr. Moreau. Holy fuck. He was more fish than man, that guy. Yeah. Let's try it one of these days. Heard nothing but amazing. Yeah, hell yeah. You said you might play seven as well, right? You totally should. That was probably an old, old picture of her. I mean, they were still able to take uh, pictures 100 years ago. But it was one of those huge cameras where the guy goes under the blanket and it's a massive like flashbang that goes off. You're half blinded. Yeah, Ethan is still... There's some unanswered questions about this guy. Without getting too spoilery. But th oh, you're so nice to come in, though, Lane. Thank you. Even though I know you run the risk of, of being spoiled, it's always tough. So we are right at the end. I think this may even be like epilogue territory because we're just kind of flying through everything. Alright, where do we go now? Was there anywhere else in the lab I could have checked out? Not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe you just walk straight by the door. It's not easy, man. It's a dark game. It's probably this here. Yeah, look. That was it. Now we'll load the cutscene. Alright, boys. Oh! The real Mia? Um, Bryce, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Still at the ceremony site. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. God damn. Really she's wearing the same clothes as that day. I'm glad you're safe, Mia. Why are you here? I was caught. In Houston experiments. Oh, God. Wait, did you say Mia? Mia Winters? In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Oh no 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 Chris watch out to the mission I'm headed to the ceremony site Wait you can't leave me here She looks You promised damn it You said that you would keep us safe We did everything that you asked We moved over here everything And I didn't care Oh so long as we She were looks together. sick or hurt or something So you tell me where is my husband where is my daughter? You don't want to know. Uh oh. Go on. You're right. Yeah, yeah. She's been through some serious shit. I couldn't save him, but I can save Rose. I think the fact that she was infected, um, means, and then Ethan's been through his shit. So when they had a baby together, it allowed the mole to almost like evolve. You, you know, it's fucked up. That's why Rose is the way she is. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No, you're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret. Oh my God! Watch out for spoilers. You don't understand how special he is. See, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. There's something going on with Ethan. There's something going on with him. This guy hasn't just been going. Yep, yeah. let's rip off my fucking arms and legs and no, this is but it's so cool they're doing this. How many times have we seen in video games where the main character gets shot, burnt alive, falls from great distances, and just gets back up because it's a video game. But this game has decided to to run with that idea. I love it. I never thought I'd see this kind of storytelling in a Resident Evil game. 
I know that laugh very well. Evelyn is not fully gone. How did I get here? God, freeze. This is so cool. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah, I'm tanking. So he's lost a lot of his limbs and throughout the game, you know, as as like gory moments. But he would just put them back together or staple them back together and just pour liquid on it. And everybody would just go, what the hell is this? You just kind of write it off, you know? But now they're telling us there's something else here. It's kind of cool. How are you here? You're dead. Dead? I mean, Miranda. She. No. I still have to save Rose. Wrong! <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What are you saying? I can still... <sighs> See? Miranda didn't kill you. Ooh. You mean you didn't think it was weird? No matter how much you got hurt? Yeah! Oh man, this is such a great callback. Wow. Three years ago, the Baker House. You were murdered by Jack. Da I can't believe this is canon. This is awesome. You died there three years ago. That, that, that's impossible. No way. You shouldn't even be able to walk around. Quit messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Bro, you! <laughs> then what, what am I? Yeah. I, 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 I did all that. <laughs> Rose, Mia, I, I, oh God, his hand. He's he's part of the mold. Oh God. Did you get it? <laughs> Your whole body is nothing but mold. Fuck! You can't ever see your family again. Family. Family. No. Rose. So he's like the only mole that ever held on to its consciousness. My daughter. So I'm guessing Evelyn reconstructed him then, but as the mold, we held on to his consciousness. I, I will save Rose. That's some purgatory shit. It's like asking the question, what if we were in the shoes of any number of those biological weapons from across every single one of the Resident Evil games? Like a zombie with a heart. <laughs> At last, he awakes. Now what? Is that the Duke? Where am I? My carriage, even. You were having a nightmare. Now we see that this uh, Ethan Duke? clearly is meant to be the perfect specimen for Miranda. Sea, yeah, I like this too. I think this is awesome. Games do not explain this stuff. They tend to just allow the player just to accept this is what video games do. Duke, I need a favor. But now they're messing yeah, with our head. Every time you die, much, you come back because you this moment. Thank you. So weird seeing the back of his head. 
But Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. Mm. <sighs> yes. Foolish of me to ask. Now what happens? Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. He must have some connection to Miranda. He's been helping us this whole time. Here. He's named the Duke, you know? The Duke is you like a lord. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. What? Are you ready? Was it like a point of no return? Yeah. I have to be. So he's been getting around with this horse carriage all along. Let's go. I gotta go. That's so cool. Jesus. Yeah, this really is the end. Oh, we've got our weapons back. I'm so glad. I felt like I saved up everything for nothing. I was a little bit pissed. This is it. That music. All this free shit. Time has come. Much. What's that? Magnum ammo did you just give me? Oh, this music's so good. We got a shitload of heals. Holy. Six on the grenade launcher. No, I have 11 on the grenade launcher. Pipe bombs, everything. All right. We're going to make this work. This is hardcore. One last save. The guys are trying to tell me how to do the new game plus with the save and all that. To get infinite ammo. I'll have to figure that stuff out. It's a little bit different than normal. All right. Back off. If he is part of the mold, he should have the power to control it too. Like a sentient biological weapon. This was meant to go down this way all along. This is what Mother Miranda wanted. Maybe when she communed with the, the mamasite. Out of my way. What the fuck? Maybe she too became part of it. Fuck you. Let's save all our goodies for the end. I gotta keep going. Here we go. Was an auto save there? You know what that means? No, she's not the big vampire litter. She's the boss of the big vampire litter. She's got fucking wings. She's crazy. She's able to like turn into crows and everything. She's like a god or a it's goddess. Like you. Oh, how I've missed you. What? That's, that's Rose. My power is leaving me. Oh, Jesus. Rose. Miranda! God, I look so real. Interesting. Your body certainly isn't normal. Give Rose to me. Now! You will see. Once I kill you properly, everything. Oh! Get her now! Is that you, Chris? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Creepy bitch. And you try to take it away from me. I will take what is due. My desires will be fulfilled. No. Rose is mine. What the fuck? God, this is some biblical shit. It's literally the root of all evil. How do you get away from that? Now, please do not worry, the little girls. I assure you, I'll provide her with true happiness. Shut the fuck up. So now you can die. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Let's go! Not 
Come on, you overgrown houseplant. Oh my god, spider bitch. Using up all my non replenishables first. It's music, though! Music. Fucking flashbangs. I didn't ask for flashbangs. Move, dude, move. There's not much of a battlefield here, I'm sorry, but it's gotta be said. It's a cool fight, but can I get into the fucking battlefield? It's like a circle, but it's just covered in shitty. Oh, fuck. Shitty plants everywhere. You can't tell where the circle is. Just humping the walls. I got it. I got everything for you, baby. I got Magnum ammo. I've saved it all for you. There's just nowhere to go. She's fucking flying. This is some bloodborne shit. Come on, you little wanker. You're so slow when you get hurt. Where is she? Where is she? What the fuck? Oh! She's just throw a fireball at me? God damn! John, hello! How's it going, man? Thank you for the sub! My name is Devil. My name is Devil. How are you doing, dude? Whew! This is some... Heavy, heavy spoilers. Let me just pause this and get spoiled. Cheers for that, man. Mass Effect normally decides to make a new take on our character, Normandy Neville. Well, you, here's the thing. Um, I'll, you know when people call people on the outside normies, we also call them Normandies. Normandy Andes. Makes so much sense. All right. <laughs> Bitch, please. I'm talking my friend. Oh my god. Can I destroy that? Let's get her instead. Jesus. Okay, that hurt. Mega Man. She's going black and white. Isn't it? Hello? Now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time you left things in my hands. The hell I will. I will take back my daughter. <laughs> die, 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 die. That's my line. How was how was everyone's weekend? I understand your feelings, You don't understand my feelings. That's what Dr. Richard said. What the Don't fuck? Manifest at last. How do you stop that? That's lava. A century. All for this day. It's pretty impressive. You could have just adopted. I shall put you to rest. Like Angelina Jolie and Madonna. But no! You have to do this satanic shit! God damn it, I'ma put you down! She's my goddamn daughter, you psycho! Jesus! She be hurting me. This is hardcore mode. No joke. Time is, up. Now die. Time has come to. Where'd the bitch go? I'm a little bit disappointed in this battlefield. I could have done such a cleaner job. There be fucking b fireballs. Damn it, how'd she get me from there? Where is she now? Gotta keep moving. 
Don't keep on pushing. No! Damn, we put up a good fight. Still piss you off so much when uh, even the Magnum's just not even making a flinch. I'm firing a spud gun my whole life. Go back to focusing. All right, cool. My beautiful daughter. All right, you crazy bitch. Let's try that again. You fulfilled your purpose, Mr. Winter. Mr. Anderson. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious Mega Meisters. Now, please do not worry for the rose. I assure you, I'll provide her with true. Her accent changes so much. So now you can die. I think I got hit there, didn't I? That's such a weird attack, it kind of encases you in stuff. Dude, you, you just stepped in some doggy doo doo. Please, Mr. Winters. Man, what's that troll, Ethan? Jesus. How can you deny me? Why the hell can't you realize Rose is my goddamn kid, not yours? Cease this foolish. I felt like I got out of there, but anyway. Die, die, die. I oh, fuck it. Keep forgetting about the flashbang. Most useless thing in a video game. She actually reacted to that. No way, you can actually blow those up. This is a fucking cool boss fight. Owie! Oh no. I wasn't going too well anyway. We gotta, we gotta just gotta stop getting screwed over. Man, uh, the first time I fought her, yeah, I tell you, you always have this kind of weird beginner's look when you fight them at first. That fight went on for like seven minutes. Die. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and I've never played. Never played Overwatch. I assure you, I'll provide her with truth. So now you can die. I'll have your breasts for breakfast, as Beyonce once said. Can never escape from that one. Breasts for breakfast. Wish you could change the grenade launcher ammo from the menu. That's a weak ass troll. So for me to change it, I have to go in there and fucking. Switch it out. It's such an extra. Oh shit. No, she still got me. Damn, you'd be like a jumping spider. Oh, way too high. You're my wonder wall. Such We could have been good together. I was gonna bring you to Cabo. But now you're going to hell! One way trip. All expenses paid. Hot poker in the veg. For the rest. Oh my god, that was... Oh, she didn't like that. Just! Just! Alright, fine. Fine. You get the poker, and you put the lotion on the skin, and you get the hot poker up the badge. Simple as that. Alright. At least we're back at this part. I think shotgun works best here. 
It's the kind of I don't I think you just need to survive. Now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time you left things in my hands. Oh, yes, now. This is such a cool fight! I will take back my daughter! Yeah, but when you take back the <laughs> Avril Levine albums, they're just they're really Don't clogging up die. Die. my CD tower, man. Come on. Ugh. Did the same inflection and everything. All right, cool. That's awesome. Woo! You think uh, Overwatch 2 will, will it be as big? Oh, shit. Scooty, how's it going? Thank you for subscribing, man. How are you doing, man? How's Scott doing? How was your weekend? This is right at the end, so if you guys don't want spoilers... I'd be wary. She's, she's still dropping stuff. That's really cool. This is a great fight. Where the fuck is she, though? Oh, it's bad, bitch. Damn. Get you a bad, bitch, this Christmas. You deserve it. Oh. Oh, that insta kill me. That's some garbage. That's my own fault, though. I wonder what's the best way of taking out those things. Like, it was okay with the grenade launcher, but I used it all up. Used it all up for you. Yes, I used it all up for you. Used to play Overwatch a bunch. Yeah. You couldn't escape it. Probably next. Probably next year you get Overwatch, too. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious I mean, false children is like, it's a nice way of putting it, but they're fucking science experiments. Oh, why didn't you just go and make, you know, a, a baking soda volcano like everybody else? Why'd you have to turn into crazy nine foot dummy mummies? Everybody deserves a nine foot dummy mummy. This Christmas, get your loved ones a nine foot dummy mummy. It's music! Where's the mine? Did she eat it? Did you eat my mine? I can hear a beep and I just can't see it. Hello, sir? She ate my mind. How can you deny me? Why the hell can't you realize Rose is my goddamn kid, not yours? This is the weirdest TLC show, show ever. 90 Day Fiance? Ah. Oh. Now it's like Kid Adoption Battle Royale. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Child. Survives the battle royale gets adopted. No! Sorry, not you. Not you, ninja. Get back in the closet. God damn it, ninja! Apparently blue is actually his his real hair colour. Come on, spider bitch. Man, reload. Damn it! Yeah, right. All it's done is drive me nuts. Maybe I should save some of uh everyone dies. Maybe I should save some of the grenade launcher. They didn't do anything there. <laughs> That's the hardest bit, I think. The swoop. The loop, the swoop and the pull. Nothing better than cutting a boss off mid-sentence. Oh, I do enjoy it, I do, I do. <laughs> Every bad guy's got the same no, fucking problem. I think it's time they always be running their mouths. Oh, 
time to die, clown. Videos from work, been streaming some speedruns. Ah, nice, nice. Trying to get the balance going. Today's the first day they've kind of opened up a couple of the stores here. Things are slowly starting to go back to normal, I hope. I understand your feelings, I really like her accent. I think it's fucking cool. If I combine because, you know, being that she's that old, she old as fuck. It's an old ass pussy. But it kind of makes sense her accent will be a little bit different. My daughter will be made manifest at last. I've waited a century. A century. All for this day. Where is she? Damn, I, I never know what to do with that. Should be taking them magnum bullets like it's nothing. That scares the shit out of me more than anything. That's meant to be my ultra badass magnum. That's like, okay. Wet farts. Time has come. That's so clever! Oh, she's still through it? That's so clever. She'd be dodging and shit. Still got me there. Oh, it's time to go back into the darkness. Come on, we gotta be close, man. I'm, on, I'm starting to run out of stuff. It's kinda half Reaper from Overwatch, half Emperor of Palpatine. Alright, we're down to sniper ammo. Getting a little bit worried. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> it's not us, it's you, Miranda. God, Miranda. Ow. Oh. Sorry. I'll never talk bad about you again. Damn, um, the spider form is tough. Where is she? Where is she? That sucks. We get her? What is it gonna take for you to die, lady? Candy lady? Damn! You don't give two shiny fucks about die, my die, sniper rifle. Die, die, die. Oh! Oh! Yes! I knocked her over, come on! You first, bitch! You first! Fucking die! Yes! Come on! Again, Ethan, again! Come on! You ugly motherfucker! Hell is calling your name, Miranda! Yes! Cutscene, come on! When I knocked her out of that dark zone, I knew I finally had done damage. Holy crap. My daughter! My 
Good God. Epic. Twelve magnum ammo. Eight grenade launcher. Forty six sniper rifle. And about twenty fucking shotgun shells. Oh yeah, and a mine and five pipe ammo. The bitch has left the building. Let's go! Oh. Just, they're just a, a crazy Brady Bunch at this point. That's one crusty bit, right? That's, that's vagina dandruff. Oh no. This is heavy spoilers. No. Oh. No, oh, I don't need this. I don't know. I don't need like, There's no coming back from this Ethan. one, is there? Ethan. Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan. It looks like that's the same hand from the start as well. Oh my god. Chris. Ethan. You did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Yeah. There was no hope. We gotta move. No. I know this all, how this all ends. Okay, no worries, dude. I'm sorry you got spoiled that way, though. I was lucky to get away with it, but... There it is, there. It's big fucking fetus thing. Oh, it's now, now it looks more like a plant. Alright, it's time to set off that nuke now, Chris. That'd be great. That'd be... Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> There's a bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Uh. Look at me. His hand. This trigger, we can't be anywhere near Take my strong hand, bitch. Oh. Why the need to hide Ethan's face? I don't know. I still don't get that. Anyway, we saw it already. He's just gonna blow in the wind and his clothes fall to the ground. You know it. I love that what they did with that in War of the Worlds, where you just see the clothes falling from the sky. Super cool shot. No. Watch over. Her. Teach her to be strong. Goodbye, Ethan. God damn. Oh. Remember the golden rule. If you don't see a body, they're not dead. Ethan gonna do the manly sacrifice. Peace out! Home flight! Someone had to set it off. It really does look like a fetus, doesn't it? Like a fetus heart. It's gross as hell. The reason he slowly is passing away is because he's all a part of this. And has been. So by killing its source... He's wiping himself up. I don't think he wanted to tell Chris that, though. Ethan Winters died three years ago. But his memory lives on. I want to see this explosion. How ironic it was Ethan helping Mia onto the helicopter. And now the roles are reversed. Go. Go, take us up now. Question is, where does this leave Resident Evil 9? Crucifix, as I've been calling it. Wait! Where is Ethan? Mia, you need to wake the fuck up, girl. Get moving. We have to get clear. No! We can't go, not without my husband! Mia, sit down and strap in. Not before you tell me where Ethan is. I know he wouldn't abandon us. Imagine if Chris just turns around and slaps him in the me. face. What's going on? Snap out of it! They don't slap each other anymore. Do you remember in the 90s? Everybody in every TV show and movie would just slap the shit out of each other. Good times. I mean, even if the, it was a crap movie, get, getting a big old slap at the end always felt justified. No. Where is he? It's over. Chris? What have you done? He's gone. I tried. Cool story. I think they did a great job. He stayed so we could all escape. Like I said, though, if you don't see a body, I'm sorry. There's a, anything can happen. It's Resident Evil we're talking about. You need to see.
see this. If I saw him blow away like ashes in the wind, like this in the wind, then I would have been like, yeah, this Ethan's gone. The hell were they thinking? What the fuck? Orders, Captain. Oh my god. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. With the BSA BSAA using like I did it's like super Someone soldiers. Zombie soldiers. What the fuck? Dude, this oh man, there's so many great references to the other game in this one, John. Even if you got spoiled, dude, it's totally worth the play. I just this actually may be my favorite Resident Evil since four. Seven was fantastic, but I kind of held it at a different regard. See the way they have the Greek numerals? So for nine, you're going to have the Greek numerals of I and X. So there's only a couple of words that you can use that on, you know? One, I think, being crucifix. Is this it? Go tell Aunt Rody. This, there it is. They always cut it off a little uh, short. That was fantastic. Hell yeah. I, I saw a couple of people reacting to the ending without spoiling it. Just saying they didn't like it. They didn't get it. I thought this was fantastic. Absolutely incredible. This probably has the most production values a Resident Evil game has ever had. Miyazaki. I tell you, any, I, I wish I had my last name was Miyazaki because I have not met a single person with the name Miyazaki who is not like a genius, you know? Got Miyazaki from, uh, from Software, Miyazaki Studio Ghibli, uh, famed director, you know? It's insane. This was incredible. Absolutely incredible. I absolutely love what they did with Ethan's story. They they took the video game trope that everybody laughs off. Now we know why she was the spider bitch, see? Yeah. The child. Yeah, they took that old video game trope of, of um, protagonists and main characters being able to literally survive being blown up and stuff. And actually worked it into the story pretty damn well. Nice little twist. And the fact that they, they kind of, well, they hint at makes all the more sense. This whole story was was crazy. This, uh, it was like something out of Little Nightmares or Coraline. Sounds like that's Evelyn singing. So the fact, as stupid as it may seem, but him passing on his jacket makes me think that they want maybe the future game to have Rose in it. It's clear that this is the end of Ethan's story. I actually thought they were going to kill Chris Redfield in this story because he's had such um, uh, a presence on the box art, you know? And, uh, yeah, and they kept saying, like, Uh oh. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at oh. last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch. My oh, mother's no. loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. That's Rose and Mia. Ethan fighting the in the witch background. Was strong, and father yelled, Save our daughter. So mother bore their child to safety as the forest was consumed. Jesus. Even now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. It's like an, it's like an eye. Oh, that was fucking awesome. Well done, well done. That little, that little crow eating the berry makes me think it's like, oh, did something survive, you know? I actually, yeah, I wonder is that actually the Evelyn uh, voice actress? Almost sounds like uh, Bjork. Bullshit assholes anonymous. <laughs> yeah. oh. Man, they tied so much together. Yeah, so I thought I thought Chris was gonna die. I thought they were gonna pull a quick one. I'm like, oh, this is gonna leave a bad taste in everybody's mouth. Like, not that it, it wouldn't be, you know, time to kill a, a, a main character off or anything, but it did say like, oh, it'll be his last story. I'm like, they wouldn't kill Ethan off that quick, but there you go. I think I think so. He'll come back in some form, but not like not like this. Maybe they'll pass it on to Rose. Who knows? Mia still being alive as well is batshit insane. 
We got the platinum scream. Oh, I was, oh, Hades, sorry I missed you. I'm at the fight with that magnetic dude and I died. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. That's, it is a pain in the ass. It is a weird one. I, I just finished it on um hardcore. What are you playing on, Hades? You playing on Village of Shadows? Do you have any of the uh, unlimited, uh, the infinite ammo or anything? Dude, I had a little bit of trouble with her at the end there. I didn't even mind dying a couple of times. I think I let myself kind of die twice because I wasn't feeling it. Because I could have... I had enough to heal three more times, you know, so I just let it die. But I was running out of ammo. Village of Shadows, yeah. Those moments, I think, are going to be bollocks hard. Because it's almost like a scripted fight. Yeah, I feel you. I think the, the longest time I died was on the fish guy. And it was only when you came in, Hades, and told me that there's a goddamn grenade launcher. I didn't know. Because my brain was going, oh, gr grenade launcher always feels like something you get, you know, halfway... Or near the end of the game. And technically you could fight. Go after the, f the fish guy pretty quick. Anyway. We'll see what they do from here. That was a that was a brilliant story. Holy shit. I also. Something else maybe I'm. Being stupid on. Maybe it might be spoilery. But I thought. That Chris was going to be. Turn out to be the werewolf. Because also on the box art. There's clearly. Some art where half of his face is Chris and the other half is a wolf. So I feel like that might have been in the story somewhere and they kind of got rid of it. I think that would have been really cool if you were fighting. I didn't... What happened was the werewolf turned into like a weird stealth section for me. I didn't fight him straight out. Um, which is weird. And I was hoping that that's what was going on. That there would be this moment where uh, Chris had got infected. Because we've had that moment with Jill where she's got infected. Um, and she also had that crazy, like, um, uh, what would you call it, mind control, the, the gem on her in, in, in that game is 5, right? So maybe, I don't know. I thought that might have been cool, and you'd have to kind of fight Chris as a werewolf, a giant, one of those giant werewolves. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe there's something I missed. Bum, bum, bum. When, when we went into the prologue, and you, you take control of Chris, I thought... That that was the end of the game. I thought we'd just do a little bit. Kind of like what happened at the end of 7. Takes over. But no, they did a great job. It actually felt like such a, a great like uh, evolution over 7, you know? Like, let's just not talk about the older games. just Because this trilogy is kind of on its own. So everything that I felt was a little bit shortcoming in 7. Where the whole mine lab section was just one straight through. Like, it was literally a room. They fleshed that out completely. I felt like the whole factory section was the mine section in the 7, you know? And then, with Chris dropping down at the end of 7 and just saying, Hi, I'm Chris! And then, credits, you know? This time, you actually get to run around blowing shit up as Chris. So, that's really cool. Everything felt fleshed out. I feel like, maybe... I think maybe just because there's just so much hype around Lady Demetrescu. I felt like the Castle Demetrescu could have done with maybe... A little more to it just a little bit more because we got spoiled in the factory you had like four floors in the factory it was insane I would have loved like one more floor or something in um, in the castle you know like the I think maybe the, the prison cell part kind of felt maybe just because it was in the demo it felt a little bit short it is a big big area for sure and it's very well done like Metro you know classic uh, a Resident Evil kind of Metroidvania where you come back with different keys and you open up this place and it's like oh that's what that's for and that kind of stuff it was really good and being able to get back into it afterwards was even cooler as well so like I, I've just like this is it's as, as close to perfect for me as you're gonna get and actually as time went on the comparisons to 4 just faded away it completely 4 is a whole different dimension to this you know as soon as you start fighting the boss areas in this, it's its way closer to 7 than it is 4. The only thing it really copies from 4, in my opinion, is just the fact that it's in a village. But you've got a snowy, like, Eastern European kind of village where um, the village in, in 4 was far more Western Europe, Spain, you know, Mediterranean almost at, at certain parts, you know. Closer to, yeah, like Spain and Turkey and that kind of stuff. It was all that kind of sand... And that. But anyway, we'll see where we'll see where they go with this. I'd like them to do you know one more game you know in this trilogy and just kind of close it out. But it's up to them. We'll see who's reading this. Is this Mia? 
still reading it. I love what they did with that. That was genius. Especially with everything that's been going on with um, these darker animation games lately. Oh, this is her grown up already? Holy shit, she aged like... Uh, Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? My god, she looks so familiar. The moon is too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, what? Okay, then god, did, she looks so familiar. Cool. So it's like Sherry all grown up or something. Was that Evelyn? It sounded like it. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon is What the hell? Now, like I said, this might not be like 16 years later. Do you know what I mean? Oh, this is so cool. You know what I mean? She may age quicker. We don't know. She's got some crazy shit going on in her biology. She's going up to say goodbye. This is really cool. It's kind of what we, where we want Uncharted to go, right? What if already nine... Yeah, I maybe. Like, look at this, Elaine. I think you called it. Hey, Dad. Kind husband. Love and father. Happy birthday. Put his family. Oh, he definitely did. All the I'm trophies so are like... Good dad, best dad. <laughs> I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Talk of the goddamn devil. Oh no. Duty calls. I love you. She looks like a badass already. Right, there's the jacket. I was telling you it was passing the torch, even if it's just a stupid jacket. Te she didn't mean exam tests. Yeah, I found her. Stupid ass umbrella or something. Or Day of all days. Fuck you. We have a situation. You're needed. <laughs> Evelyn. What? Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa. Whoa, it was just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. Ooh. <sighs> we have a clear shot. I would have need him in the in the balls. Oh. I would have loved a cameo from Leon or something. You know, cool. I like him, you know. That's all good. Yeah, she's already a badass. I like it. It's giving me. I know. It's giving me like the movie vibes. She's got all these crazy powers. Nice. There's a lot of mention of other games and that. Was that him? Who's that walking? Oh, oh, they stopped. They stopped. Uh oh. What's that? What's gonna happen? What the fuck? Dude. Oh. Don't pick up hitchhikers. The father's story is now done. Ooh. Where does that leave the mother of the daughter? Oh, that's so good. It's so good. Oh, I got goosebumps. I love teases. I love it. Who knows who that was, what that was. I don't know. Zoomed into that figure and it was Ethan. You think so? That cliffhanger, you think it was Ethan? I'm thinking it's even. Yeah, I, I, for a second I was thinking, you know, the guy in the suit. Could he have been like Wesker or something? I don't know. But this is still in the normal canon. Because they've already mentioned other games. Yeah, um, and Kendall, but yeah, so it still is there. Like, even though somehow Chris aged 27 years from the end of seven, I think when they added Chris at the end of seven, it's clear that that was meant as just a little cheeky nod. The dude looked about 20 years old, and then flash forward to this game, which is three years later, he looks about he's pushing 50, which is about right, you know. Ah. Oh. Yeah, all the all the trophies are like great dad, fast dad, super dad, world's best dad, <laughs> best dad ever. That's the one for uh, hardcore, I think. No, standard differently. World's best dad, nice. It's a lot of daddies. Ten hours, not bad. People said between ten and twelve. Yeah, that seems about right. That's actually interesting for me because I take way too long. But damn cool. Very, very good. Alright, the Village of Shadows. So most people went normal, and then it unlocks Village of Shadows, and then they play Village of Shadows, and you'll get the hardcore. That's that's my recommended way of doing it, I think. I went hardcore first, and I paid dearly for it. So, probably could have finished it in about 8 hours. But I didn't, because of differently, I didn't explore it 100%. I wanted to kind of wait for the infinite ammo. How does this work? Um, I know Biohazard was trying to help me out in the chat. It was nice about saving it. It works differently than normal new game. 
Hell yeah. So that's extra content. Free stuff. Village of Shadows. Yeah. That's cool. Creating the Village of Shadows. That was super cool of them. That was awesome. Tie it all together. Ooh, the WCX. Interesting. Hand Cannon PZ. So, how does the infinite ammo work? Just whenever you upgrade it fully, then you get infinite ammo, or do you have to wait till the next playthrough? Because uh, I probably fucked up there. Uh, of this, not liking this. No, I'm not liking it either. Yeah, exactly. Dummy Daddy, wow. Yeah, Jake, uh, here's the thing. I enjoyed those moments with Jake. People shit all over that part. The only part I didn't like in 6 was actually uh, Chris's part, because it just went so heavily militarized it was so silly it was so far removed to what we're used to you know but it was nice to have that story with it with his team though that was kind of cool even his ui because that it was like um you know just piss green or i know if you're pissing green it's trouble it was just a shitty green color you know i didn't like it but all the rest of them how's it going swampy i just i just finished on hardcore dude that's fucking awesome have you finished it i think you were pretty close to the end i got some cp so what happens now this just did i select them here no, it's just telling me overwrite. So how does this work? Load, completed data, some things will carry over. Should I save over my already save or what? I just make 106 saves. Fuck it! Let's do it! I'm trying to figure it out. I would like to run through again um, with infinite ammo and just stonewall everything. It'll be helpful for achievements but we got a lot of great achievements that were callbacks to resident Evil before we got the achievement for knocking a flame and arrow away with um the knife we got that that was fucking awesome i, I said i'd try it for the crack and it worked out uh what else did we get there's a couple we got just like randomly okay oh yeah we got one for sniping one of the gargoyles off the thing that was fun too i have finished it what did you think of it dude didn't do hardcore i'm a wuss no no dude i shouldn't have done my first play through as hardcore um, when I when I killed Lady Demetrescu, it was fine. I'm like, holy shit, I got a first try on hardcore, it was fine. And I was like, okay, now the difficulty will be fine. Because I was having so much trouble with the lichens, it was like all my pistol ammo every time just to kill one of them. It was, it was pathetic. But uh, yeah, once I got to the fish boss, he he destroyed me every single I forgot about, I didn't know there was a, a, a grenade launcher. It wasn't until Hades came in and goes, dude, there's a grenade launcher. It makes it way easier. What are you doing? So that was, that was pain. It was very tough. I do not recommend doing your first playthrough on hardcore. There was no need for it. I was just... It's because I got off playing Resident Evil 7. And I thought it was fucking hot, Mr. Hotshot. But I think... People were saying this game is easier than 7. Holy. No, not in my opinion. For me, not just hardcore. I played... Uh, I played Resident Evil uh, 7 on Madhouse. And Madhouse is still easier on 7 than hardcore on this like you cannot kill those lichens they just eat and then there at the end i saved up every piece of ammo i had 12 magnum ammo i had so much everything i used everything on her and i was getting down to bare minimum so i'll tell you i was impressive so most people when they go back for the other difficulties they'll do it with the infinite ammo or the highly upgraded weapon so of course you're not gonna feel that pain the pain do not play Village of Shadows if you want your Sandy. Yeah, I know one guy did it. I think it's uh, he's Maca Guides. He does a lot of guides on, on Xbox and that. He did a stream of uh, a run of no uh, Knife Run, Under 3 Hours, Village of Shadows. And I think there's another one as well. Oh, yeah, No Heals. Mother, and he did it. Motherfucker's crazy. But when you see that kind of stuff. Hey, Pyro, how's it going, dude? Happy fucking Monday, man. When you see that kind of stuff, you go, Christ, is, is the game. Can you just run past 90% of the game? Fuck. But yeah, the, the whole dummy mommy stuff was hilarious. I thought they were going to keep her for the whole game because they love to do that with the tyrant characters, you know? Even Jack stayed around for so fucking long. He even made it into the DLC. And we know, like, Nemesis is, you know, he really is the guy who does not die. But yeah, there's a lot of trouble going around with one of the boss fights. Uh, Capcom are a little bit of hot water over it. I didn't want to talk about it on the Daily Dose because it's like a random spoiler. And I don't want to do that. You know, imagine if you're watching... You tune in for whatever news, and it's like, oh, thanks. So I don't want to be that guy. But yeah, apparently that's what's going on. Some um, horror movie writer uh, is pissed that they used his design. And it clearly, there's a, a few changes, but it is very, very clearly lifted, you know. And Capcom are used to doing that, sadly. But here's the thing. You know what would just make this all right? If they just put, like, a fucking thank you or a nod 
to say something, you know? Like, even going back, talking about Nemesis. Nemesis' face, the whole, like, grin and the pullback skin, that was lifted from Hellraiser. That's Chatterbox. If you guys know the Hellraiser series, it's okay if you don't. There's a character in it, and he's fucked. He's one of the one of the, the centibites, right? And he has, like, a pullback face as well, this creepy, creepy grin. And that's Nemesis' face all, all over. And then the last Plagueis that they brought in, um, from 4 and, and other games was lifted from other stuff as well. It's just the way it goes. You know, most of 7 is um, inspired by uh, classic horror m movies. Uh, never, not once did I go, oh, fuck them for, for taking this from Texas Chainsaw Massacre or The Hills of Eyes or... Who gives a fuck? Everything is an iteration upon another thing. Isn't it better to have that nod or to build a story around these things? It's fucking awesome. So if, if that's their one little grief that they... You know, lifted the design. That's rude. So how long have we been seeing people come up with different versions of Pyramid Head? Even, it got so bad that even Team Silent themselves, the creators of Silent Hill and Team uh, and uh, Pyramid Head, don't even fucking like Pyramid Head. They're like, we don't like this guy. We don't. We don't want to use him anymore. But, but um, you know, Konami's like, it's all we got, man. It's all we got. We ran fucking Castlevania into the ground, man. Yeah. Together with Nemesis and Hellraiser. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, it's crazy. And it's not a bad thing at all. I'm at the end with Village Shadows and I keep getting killed. Oh, I know. I'm sorry, dude. You'll get it. You'll get it, dude. What can, What gun are you using for that? Are you using infinite ammo? Bullet sponges for sure. Love the puzzles. World was pretty... Yeah, except being up close. Yeah, you were saying that. That's a little bit rough. That sucks. I think um, even with 7. 7 felt very rushed at the end. It was a, it's a fucking awesome game, but like I said, I, I I put this game up there as my favorite, my favorite after four, the fan head boss absolutely stole. It. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one, John. Seems pretty short. Yeah, no, I think they they um they lined it up with other ones, and it's actually like the third longest Resident Evil game or something, dude. They're all pretty short. Wolf weapons a killer. All right, cool. Obviously, all right, nice, nice. I, I gotta figure out how to do that, so maybe you guys can help me. How does, so, is it bonuses? To mess around now, how long am I going for? That was fucking awesome. I really enjoyed that story. They nailed the ending, too. Then they could have just really copped out there. When it switched over to Chris, I thought they were gonna do a cop out. It was gonna be bullshit, but no, we got our boss fight. Thanks be to Jesus. Hell yeah. So there's the extra game, the Mercenaries mode, which is kind of cool. I didn't know you had to buy it out right like that, but sure it's only 10 CP, so who cares. This is a little arcade mode, which I think is also multiplayer. And it was something that had, had its own game right back on, on 3DS and that. Fucking awesome. So I know, aren't they trying to remake House of the Dead? I miss all those old games. This is the knife I see everybody using. Okay. Rocket Pistol. Jesus Christ. I'm assuming that does exactly what it sounds like. Shoots little rockets. Oh! A fucking lightsaber? No. LZ answerer. Okay. <laughs> wow. All stages with at least SS and the mercenaries to unlock the LZ answerer. Infinite ammo. Alright, so. Yeah, fully upgraded and fully customized. Oh, shit. So some of these, I mightn't have the other stuff. Okay. Oh, it says I can get infinite. I can buy infinite ammo for the. What is it? The rocket launcher? Yeah, grenade launcher. Wait, there was no rocket launcher. Dun, dun, dun. I wonder why they're moving away from that. They didn't really use a rocket launcher in seven either. The stake is another magnum. Cool. There seems to be like almost three or four of each weapon, except for the sniper rifle. There seems to be only one sniper rifle. Hell yeah. I want to get, is is the, did they have the Dragoon? I want to get, there it is, holy shit, yeah. That thing is sick! I might actually buy that. That thing was ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Maybe I should save my stuff up. What does this do, figurines? I gotta buy these as well. Nice. Oh, the dummy mummies. Yeah, what a what a some great mutations for sure. Concept art. Oh, damn, there's lots of. I love it. Yeah, bony shop. It's fucking cool. Seven Z and fell off for me. Yeah, took me fourteen hours. Nice, dude. Nice, nice. 
good time. Yeah, seven. Just the whole mine part and the little lab, which end up being two rooms. There we go. We can get infinite ammo for the Dragoon. Okay, so let me let me do this real quick. You think this is worth it? I don't know. Maybe I'm stupid. I could buy the Dragoon for 30 and then infinite ammo for 50, which would leave me almost everything. Everything I have. Is it worth it or do I go fucking... Do I go with the... What is it? The Wolf's Bane. I can always get both. I can't do anything with the Wolf's Bane now anyway. Because I don't have all the upgrades. I have to upgrade it in game. And CP is different than money. So I can do a couple of run uh, run throughs with the Dragoon. Rocket Pistol sounds like the name of a psychic character. Right? It does, right? Got Danger Mouse and Rocket Pistol. <laughs> Yeah, seven's still fantastic. I'll, I'll never shit on it. I think it's great. It was such a, a difference, right? But here's the thing. I still agree with my initial initial uh, thing that felt off about both of these games, seven and eight. And it's not a bad knock or anything, but it's just weird that after the success of the Outlast games, that Resident Evil finally went first person and kind of both games followed Outlast and then Outlast 2. Outlast 2 was also about a baby and it's, yeah, anyway. It's just probably me overthinking it, but yeah, we'll see. He had an electric shocking dildo. That would be awesome. Then what they should do, right, is give you, right, check this out, little doggy treats with uh, dynamite in them. So that when you throw them at the lichens, they're like, hey, 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 and then it blows up in their face. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> and it's always in the little bone shape. What would you call them? I don't know. Ah, man's best explosive. <laughs> I don't know. Wolf weapon. I kill everyone in one shot. Yeah, I should. But it looks like there's nothing I can do with it now. So I think that's what I'll do. I'll get the Dragoon. We'll fuck around. Let's mess around. So anything with infinite ammo will be good for me right now. I love that it let me purchase infinite ammo for the Dragoon without ever having the thing. I, I use... It'd be nice to have a, a machine gun too. Alright. So how do you... How do you... Movies? Oh, there's all the cutscenes. They were like movies. I gotta give it to them. Like even that final cutscene with Miranda, uh, with Ethan holding the gun. It's clear it moved over to a cutscene. But oh my god, it looks so good. No, these are actually like behind the scenes. I love this stuff. I love it. Creating the village of shadows. Yeah, that was amazing. Definitely. You know, it's not long since uh, Little Nightmares Two came out. So definitely give me a moment like that. But I've never seen a Resident Evil with higher production values than this. I know you're saying there was a little bit of texture issue. Hopefully that's something they can they can uh, work with. You know, you always hate to see that stuff, especially when they make you go through forests and trees. So it is in your face. So you do see you might see like bad textures like that. That shucks. Figures. Yeah, I could have sworn he was gonna turn into a werewolf. God damn it. Yeah. Let's see how we are on trophies. I don't think I did too well. Oh not bad. Just uh, just on the halfway, exactly halfway, when you don't count in the the um, the platinum trophy. Yeah, nice. So obviously it's gonna be one for like no heals and under three hours and all that. There was one about moving the ball. Son of a bitch! I moved that ball at the start and it didn't do anything. Son of a bitch. Yeah, a lot of the, a lot of the ones actually came pretty easy. Just messing around, and I love that. Yeah, I did. I was shooting. I love the way fucking PlayStation 5 just captures it. I was shooting for the crack while I was in the elevator. And I end up popping one of them. I like that. I like that a lot. I haven't updated my the, the system software for this. So it has been running a bit weird. You don't like when you do that. Oh yeah, look here. Look, this guy, whatever. Varkolach Alpha. That must be werewolf. That must be the werewolf. I, did, I ended up sneaking past him. I didn't know. Photo, there's one for photo mode. Use photo mode. You gotta love those kind of trophies, right? But how do I do that? Yeah, no, I don't know how. It's my last trophy. Yeah, here we go. Dashing dad. Finish the story within three hours. D People are legends, absolute legends. I've never been good. I don't have that. Uh, finish the story without spending more than ten thousand. Wow, frugal father. Frugal father. Father frugal here. <laughs> father McDougal. Look at this. Look at this. Look what I downloaded on PS5. We'll be playing it this week. I fucking can't. I have an unbelievable irrational fear 
of the deep ocean. I'm afraid of drowning. I'd rather be buried alive than drown. But I'm going to play Subnautic on PS5. It's a free update. Why not? I'm already getting like cold sweats thinking about it.